Hi folks, well I've uh, been spreading mushroom spore. Um, I've done a mass spore, I said, which I said I was going to do yesterday. And uh, what I've done is I've took a jar of the solids out of it, there's a control. So hopefully I'll be able to monitor this over the next few weeks. I don't explain this in this video, but I'll be able to monitor this and hopefully we'll get some mycelium growing in this and I'll be able to see, because if there's mycelium in this, there should be mycelium in the garden. But I'd like to thank Terry for sending me them, uh, hopefully it works and uh, I'll get on with it, it's nice to be nice. So guys, <laughs> I'll just explain to what I've got here, looks lovely doesn't it? There's 40 litres of water, there's uh, some molasses, not a lot, it was probably a couple of tablespoons full of molasses in that, not a lot, I just did a pour. Um, I didn't have any wood ash, but I've got some crushed charcoal. So I put some ch crushed charcoal in it and some um, oak chippings and some other wood chippings. Now, what I'm going to try and do is collect some solids out of this and try and put them in a jar to see if I get any um, mycelium growth. The rest will be going on the garden. This is what Terry so kindly sent me. I haven't opened it, I'm going to open it now. It's been in the fridge. Hopefully some of the spore of this will have survived. Now, the good thing about me trying to do it in a jar is we'll see what we've got. Now, obviously this is not <laughs> laboratory clean, is it? The idea is mass spore. The idea of putting it in this is to actually encourage the spore to start growing. And what I'll do is I'll water this down in um, apparently you can do it 20 times now I'll, what I'll do is I'll just put X amount into a watering can and then go and water it around the garden where I said in that video yesterday and um, also in other places I've got a few places that they might actually start to come now obviously we might not know anything well we won't know anything about whether this worked until next spring See what we've got. Oh, wrapped in the sun, Terry. Let me save me page three. Oh no, they stuck doing that, aren't they? It's not a bad thing, really. We all know what boobies look like. Now this is what we've got. Now I'm hoping there are some um, spore left on this. Now looking at that, that could be the spore. I know they've got um, a white spore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chuck that in my bucket and put an air stone in it. And hopefully, as I said, what I'll do is I'll take a sample out of this and put it in a jar. And that'll allow me to sort of control whether I've got any mycelium growing. Don't know whether this will work, I don't know, that, but I'm going to try. Like I said, if I don't get anything growing at mycelium in a jar, what I'm going to do then is I will try and find some fresh morels when they're in season and do it again using this method. All I'm going to do now is leave that to go for 24 hours, or a bit more. 
and uh, oh, yeah. it will give that um, the spore a chance to get going. And as I say, I'll sip some of the solids out of that into wood and sawdust, and I'll put it in a jar and see if it starts. Obviously, it's not going to be a sterile mix, but if I get some mycelium growing, 99% chance that it's going to be uh, morel mycelium and nothing else that's contaminated it because there'll be more mycel uh, more morel mycelium in there than anything else, or spore more mycel morel spore in there than anything else and hopefully it'll sort of get hold of that charcoal and the bits of wood and when I chuck it around the garden next spring we'll have some lovely lovely morels I'll be back when I spread it so guys that's been bubbling away for about 24 hours now now what I'm going to do is it's, this is just to sort of give me an idea if it's working or if there's any my seal them in it. And I'm going to take some of the solids out of it and I'm going to let them drain off and I'm going to put them in this jar. Now this is not for a culture, this is just to see if I'll get any mycelium growing. I'll put some uh, actually uh, the wood chips from the garden in there and some oak sawdust. So in a couple of weeks I should know whether this culture's actually live or not. Um, what I'm going to do is I'll get some of them out. One handed, I'm not going to be able to do it, so I'll show you the result after. And I'm going to dilute this and water gone with it in various places. And hopefully, next spring, I'll have some morels. So, what we've got here is uh, there's charcoal, there's the wood chips, there's some sawdust, and obviously juice that this has been sitting in overnight. Uh, I'm not putting the top on tight, so let it breathe a bit. I'll put that down in the cellar and uh, I'll be able to monitor it over the next few weeks and see what happens, if anything. And this, I'm going to put a tub of that into the watering can, put the rest of the water, and then go and spread it around the garden. I might put two in because I don't know how much life support we're in this, so we'll probably go for two. 